Okay, so I'm out here at the Vintage Vehicle Show. On this side here, we've got all the uh, motorbikes going back maybe to the Second World War. There was one from the Second World War right at the top there. And uh, these are the bikes through the edges. This one here looks pretty, pretty old, if I may say so myself. Let's take a closer look. There we go. You vintage motorbike. Motorbikes are your thing. Then you'll be like a kid in a candy store. Okay, scooters, vespers, side cars, and the not so old bikes. Spunking brand new bikes here with a Ducati. 21 plate. Uh, I think it's a Ducati stand. Yeah. Ducati everything. And we have the Brica Brock over this side. People selling swords, swords and swords. That's not all by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> this cell wouldn't be complete without toy cars, super cars. Okay, now this side we get to the vintage cars. I know a few there, I know a Morris Minor in Austin. Look at the registration, that's pretty old. McLaren, I assume. Well, these cars here, they're pretty newish. They, they, they don't fit into the vintage model just yet. Give them another what? Few muscle cars here. Yeah? 1950s vintage. Chevrolet. Wow, that looks clean. Super clean. Sorry. Oh, my God. 
on this side. There were three of them. Oh. I didn't know it all was once a police car. Categories. This is just after this Second World War. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, post war right here. So we're talking 50s. 50s, 60s. The back here again, people selling odds and swords. Yeah, is that oil? Yeah, they're selling oil here, car oil. WD-40, that sort of thing. Now, this row here, let's see what we have on this side. We have uh, VW camper here. It doesn't say uh, what vintage these cars are. This is obviously no vintage. It's been done up, I can give you that. But vintage, it's not. Jagger, post war again. I think it's still post war from the looks of it. Another Jagger here. It was pre-war, but there you go. But where well after the war? A pre. I my hand, she done it. Maybe we're talking the 70s, 60s, 70s, if I'm not really mistaken. Okay. some of these cars that shows you how old I am. Cochina. Uh, there you go. That old police. Uh, here we go. Post, post walk. Hey, old man. is too ant by not even by a stretch of the imagination. Any stretch of the imagination. 
3D printing, which is really handy. I would have thought they would have developed a 3D camera Look at all the space in there. Mm -hmm. Compared to um, cars these days, there's hardly any space. It's all filled up. Electronics. Other gadgets like that. This one here is the wall. The first wall. So, what are we in here? It's a mixture. Mixture of. Nah, <laughs> no way, this one. It is first wall, yes, but not in the sense of. You no, know, of first wall itself. Talking about 10 years ago. version of a hot road I think. Most of these cars were handcrafted back in the day. And just look at that craftsmanship. Clean the bay is very clean, and there's lots of space. There's one thing I've noticed with these old cars: lots of space. Six valve, I think. Yeah, it's a six valve Morgan. various versions of Morris Miners through the years, but they still look the same to me. Well, what have we got here? Let's have a look. Let's take a look and see what we have this side. Thank you. 
Ты по зубе. Я вот по зубе. Кончаш. used to be very popular race cars back in the day. Well, they've got some flyers, coffees there. I see some of these actually small buildings. I, think, I guess this is Kabul fiber thing. It's going to be a uh, special offer. There you go, it's a kit. This is a kit. This kit here fits a smart bank on this car here. That's it, yeah. In its full glory. The last row. This is the last. Now this is what we call proper vintage. I can see a few T model Fords here. Yes, this is real vintage. Yeah. That's an Austin, very old one. Look at this one here. This could be a T model 4 definitely. Amber. Ah. Amber. Let's have a look in here and see. 
What's the name of the wood? Okay. Now it's been um, modernized in the looks of it. Yeah. It's been modernized. They've done a good job of it. 1937, this is. This is. Uh, oh, I uh, there's a proud runner right there. I'm uh, moving on. Pre, this is a pre-war. So pre-war, we're talking what? Before 1914? It's gotta be before 1914. Because there's been two wars, so I don't know which war they're talking about. So the safe guess will be second world. That's what they mean by pre-war here. Woosley. Okay. We have a Woosley here. Right, what have we got here? Nice, very nice. Boston 1939. Okay, so pre-war is before the Second World War. It doesn't mean before the First World War. There you go. Another one here. Let's look at the rims on these cars. Is that the battery? This one here. Ah, wooden, wooden uh, wings. Wooden wings. No, no, wooden spokes, but metal wings. Another Austin seven, I think. This is another Austin. Must have missed this here. Okay, this is as far as the cars go. Now we do have buses on this side. So let's go and check out the buses. This is some old London buses. Good pasta. Here they are, the old 
Masters. Now we tired. So the same old material. Nothing changed much. Apart from a, a little kitchen in the front here. This side here we have uh, old fabricated trucks. This again. This was a for den. Or is a for den. Uh, so the Jude or the Jude? The Jude. And this was commercial large back in the day. Bad for them. Was considered a large commercial. Hmm. Another Bedford right here. Large commercial. Compared to today's large commercials. That's what we call a large commercial today. See this one on the road, especially popular with the army. Anyway, we're gonna finish it here, folks. I know there's still a few stones around, but my arm is killing me. So, enjoy. <laughs> 